Well, this August will be 20 years in El Angeles. I'll have lived out here for two decades with my brother Seth. Pretty bonkers. So I figured after coming out to Los Angeles to pursue entertainment and be a funny man, hee hee, in front of everybody, I may as well now, 20 years later, do it. I may as well become successful at 20 years in. It's time to get serious. And there's a few ways I'm going to be getting serious. Number one being creating the greatest, biggest hit sensation podcast in the universe. <laughs> oh yeah, my 18th podcast. This is the one. This is one that is actually good because I'm not making it in my room alone by myself with a tripod with duct tape on it and my brother. Now we have a whole studio, a whole team of people, engineers, producers, heating, lighting, microphones, couches, Bob. So this Wednesday, do not forget, every week this will be happening. The greatest podcast to ever happen. Me, Seth, and Bob. The three of us have a reoccurring weekly podcast. Uh, it's got its own YouTube page. Subscribe to it. It'll be on Spotify, Apple, all the other places. So go follow it wherever you listen and or watch podcasts. This Wednesday, in like two days from now. Yes. Please watch it weekly. And we already have, we have a couple patron supporters, but one paying. Tiny oomps. Thank you for being the first patron supporter. 20 freaking dollars a month and we haven't even done anything yet. So if you want to see this weekly, that is how we will keep it going. Because right now I'm paying to have it done in the studio and it's costing me thousands of dollars and I'd like to not do that anymore. So if you guys like it, if you got a dollar and you want to support it and you want this to be a weekly reoccurring thing, that is how it will keep going. So we've got a ton of episodes recorded. We've been working on this for a couple months now. So we're finally launching it Wednesday. Please be there. Another way I'm becoming serious in my pursuit to be the number one hee hee man in Hollywood is through a certain audition, you could say, with a very big, well-known company. I don't know what to call them without calling them the WWE. Oops, I said it. Oh yeah, finally, third time's the charm. I will maybe finally actually get in there for a tryout. But finally, it seems like this is the time. Two times now, I've worked with these people. And I had the last time was, I talked to you guys, actually I have it right here. I have redacted some information. But here is the multi-page contract to, to enter and be a part of this tryout. The last one that from that contract, it was a couple years ago, it didn't happen. But it was set, I had the hotel booked, they had booked, they had done it all for me. The flight booked, hotel, where I'd stay, the three days itinerary, I was like, oh my God, it's happening. And then if this, if this conversation I'm having right now sounds a little weird, it's because I edited certain information out. But now it seems I'm actually going to be going in there and trying out and all I care about is doing the promo, the promo portion. I know, oh, unless they've changed things, I know everything that happens in these tryouts. I've been obsessed with the tryouts through friends who are at WWE, friends who have been at WWE, people who work behind the scenes, things I've seen online through WWE's like documentation of these processes. I know everything about the tryouts. And what I care the most about is getting on the microphone. You do two promos apparently at two different days. I don't know if that's changed, but I cannot wait to cut a promo because what I've seen from people trying out and doing the promos, it's so generic and so what everyone wants to do. And I have things I would say that would be like completely flipping it as a character and what you would say and how to gain interest. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. I don't think I'm the, the best at anything entertainment wise, performing wise, but I do feel confident that I would do something different and unique compared to what they have seen, which hopefully would be a refreshing thing. And even though I'm a geezer, I still feel I could hang physically with everyone. This leads me to the, the other third topic. People have been asking me about boxing, if I'm gonna box again. Yes, I will be boxing again this year. There are a few things happening 
but it does seem there will at least be one match this year. So that's why I'm training right now. That's why I'm running. That's why I'm being physically active and trying to stay in shape. So I'm prepared for the WWE tryout and so I can rip it up in the boxing ring for a third time. I don't like going into round two. Haven't had to do it yet. So fingers crossed that I don't do it on this, this one. Third time's the charm. Maybe this is the two second TKO. KO maybe even. Who knows? I'm training, I'm getting pumped, I'm not stopping. So, there's a little update. I wanted to give you guys a life update. Oh, also, join Space Hay, the greatest website in the world. I'm not associated with this website, I'm just obsessed with it. And like 300 people from my audience have joined it and we're all chatting on there. Uh, look at these cool gifts, customization. The greatest website ever. I don't use social media, I try not to use Instagram even though I have to because it works for business and all that nonsense. But this is a website I can get behind. I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, subscribe to the podcast, volume podcast. That's the number one main thing. Please, please subscribe to volume. Watch it weekly. Listen to it weekly. It's coming in two days. Thanks for listening. I'm still here. I'm still kicking, still doing things. All right, I'm done talking. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. Good to look